Welcome, welcome. Are we on? Ha, we're on. Okay, so listen. I am going to break down. I'm going to do a couple videos today. I'm going to break down synchronicities. I'm going to break down twin flames. I am going to break down synchronicities when it comes to our past life. I'm going to break down colors and I'm going to break down chakras. Okay? So, yeah, that's that. Okay? So, this one's going to be color. Okay? And why color, guys, it, it is so important. Okay? Um, I'm, I'm not kidding you. Okay? Um, so, if you can have a pen and paper, okay? Um, here's the thing, guys. Color is energy. If you're feeling down, put some color on. If you want to get your energy up, put some color on. Okay? I'm not kidding. So, court talks fast. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best not to talk fast, okay? Because i got a few videos to get up. And it's, it's not that I'm in a rush. I just... <sighs> It's, um, it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to try to go as slow as I can. All right. Um, so red, we're going to start with red. Okay. It's the color of passion. Fury, which is anger. It's excitement. It's energies. It's fire. It's power. It's intense, and it's your base chakra, okay? It's it's the one that's, that grounds you. It's stability, okay? For the chakra. I'm going to do a video on that. So I'm going to do it one more time, okay? Red. We got passion. We got fury, which is anger. We got excitement. We have energies. We have fire. We have power. We have intense. And it's your base chakra. Okay? Afterwards, I'm going to break them down and tell you, like, what, what they do for you. Okay? Um, it's a lot, guys. Well, well, on to the next, okay? Orange. All right? It's warm. It's energetic. It's sensuality. It's your sacral chakra. It's harmony. It's abundance. Okay. Stimulates creativity. A lot of people do orange in workplaces, believe it or not. Okay. Uh, it's it's productivity. Okay. It's pleasure. It's optimism. And it's emotional expression. One more time. We got warm, energetic, sensuality. Again, it's your it's your shakeless chakra. Okay. We got harmony. We got abundance. It stimulates creativity. Uh, productive system. Uh, uh, productively. It's a productive. I do have system after that. But that has nothing to do with your chakra. I'm going to skip that. Pleasure. Optimism. And emotional expression. I'm going to check something real quick on... It is actually. I'm gonna go over that after. All right, we did that. All right, we're gonna do orange. Orange is next, ladies and gents. Orange, okay? I know this seems like. Uh, don't have to write them down if you don't. That's why I'm kind of like. I, I don't want to be total slow either, guys, because some people are just listening. Okay, so you might have to go back and, and um, pause the video. Okay, I'll, I'll be slower when it comes to synchronicities. Okay, yellow. It's happy. It's bright. It's the sun. It reminds you of summer days. It's also courage and personal power. Okay? It's your solar plexus chakra. It increases fun, humor, logic, creativity, lightheartedness. Okay? We have green. It's vibrant. It's earthy. Okay? It's environmental. It's healing. It's, it's youth. It's renewal. Okay? It's good luck. It's money. It's your heart chakra. Listen, a lot of people are doing it now, too. It's Chinese methods, and you have to read up on it. But, like, fertility. Put green all around. 
green, okay? Certain colors that are just going to, like, boost your energy. I, I'm, I'm talking, um, like, bright colors, okay? Um, we got blue, okay? It's the meaning of peace. It's truth. It's tranquility. Tranquility. <laughs> tranquility. You know what I'm trying to say. All right? It's like, it's like water, all right? It's soothing, all right? It's harmony. It's, 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 it's calm, okay? It's your throat chakra. We got indigo, guys. It's like all about the inner mind, okay? It's intuition. It's... Picture the night sky with, like, a full moon, okay? That's, that's what, like... It's love, it's peace, it's honesty, it's, it's kindness, it's, it's depth of devotion, Okay? Then we got black. It's the unknown. It's formal. It's elegant. It's power. It's sexuality. It's alluring. It's mysterious. Okay? It's also mourning. It's also your crown chakra. Well, violet is, so no. Sorry, that's so wrong. Okay? So we're going to do vi violet next. Crown chakra. <laughs> okay? It's violet. It's fulfillment. It's healing of the mind, body, spirit. Remember that, guys. Mind, body, spirit. Okay? It's 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 being, like, higher conscious with the cosmos. Okay? Um, deep awareness of your being. It's, it's universe as well as spirituality. It's reaching a gateway to spirit. It's all about using your intuition. Okay? Purple. I skipped pink. Pink is tenderness, it's love, it's soft, it's feminine, it's young girls, it's also a symbol of spring, it's also your heart chakra, purple, spiritual, it's royalty, it's no, it's nobil, nobody, no, how do you say that word? I want to say nobility, but it's not that, it's, um, it's a royal thing, it's a royal word, anywho, doesn't matter, <sighs> it's ceremony. It's the realm of mystery. It holds ancient meanings of sacred wisdom and enlightenment. Okay? Gold. It's wealth. It's endurance. It's, it, it's empires. It's kingdoms. It's energy. It's sun. It's the lion. It's confidence. It's courage. It's masculine. It's a masculine color. Silver. Symbolic of money. Coins. Wealth. Feminine energy. Intuition, imagination, moon, okay? We got white, purity, okay? Faith, peace, cleansiness, humanity, mind, body, spirit, okay? Moving on to brown. Earth, organic, fertile grounds. It's planting new seeds, it's connection to Geisha, it's Gaia, it's um, a healer, it's it's inner peace, it's, you know, could be depression. Um, it's it just, it's it basically saying it just, it wants to activate your inner self to go play in the dirt like you do when you were a child. Okay? Go play in the freaking dirt. Gray. Okay? It's a range of possibilities that lies between black and white. It's good taste. To wear gray. <laughs> it's a touch of being formal. It's lending to dignity and self-respect. Infinite interpretations. All right, so this is the part where um, you might really want to write down, okay? So if you want to create in harmony and abundance, wear orange. Okay, that's to increase harmony and abundance. Wear orange, put orange around you. Okay, to strengthen things, to strengthen your passion or your sense of personal security, wear red. And let me tell you, when you want to meditate, this is like a meditation thing, too, guys. Okay, so when you meditate and you think of a color, 
You know, if you if you want harmony in your life and you're meditating for more harmony, orange. So every single thing that I'm going to break down right now, there's not too many of them, okay? I'm going to break them down and I'm going to tell you, you know, for strength, for passion, to boost certain stuff, or to increase certain stuff, to increase, for example, to increase harmony and abundance. Meditate with the color orange, okay? If you want harmony in your life or well, you're feeling down, surround yourself in orange. So for every color, I say at the end, I'm going to tell you to meditate it with that color. But if you don't meditate, put the, it doesn't matter. This is to put color around the house too, guys. That's why that other list I just gave you, that's what that color can do for you. It can ignite certain energies, okay? It doesn't let me post pictures, upload pictures on, on YouTube, or I would just post a picture for you guys to... You know what I mean? Copyright, print off, it's just, it, it won't let me. Anywho, to strengthen your passion and sense of personal security, meditate with red. I'll put red around you. I'm not going to do this every time. To boost courage and confidence, meditate with yellow. I'll put yellow around you. I can't help it. <laughs> but I'm not doing it again. Okay? To heal and feel renewed, meditate with green. To improve communication, meditate with sky blue. To improve quality of clarity of thought and to increase your intuition, meditate with indigo. To connect with spirit, meditate with violet. To increase the need of sweetness, meditate with pink. Tap into wisdom in a spiritual path, meditate with purple. Open yourself to wealth and courageousness and all sorts of amazing energies when it comes to being courageous. Meditate with gold. To open feminine energy qualities, meditate with silver. So remember the mold, the mold. Remember the gold is a masculine color. Okay. Silver is a feminine color. So you want more feminine energies? Meditate with silver. And I'm telling you, if you meditate in your spiritual, because you're on my page, it's good for men to carry feminine qualities. And it's good for women to carry divine qualities. I mean, masculine qualities. Guys, it's it's good to interact that energy. You got to know how to balance feminine and masculine energy. Okay? If you don't, you're not going to stay freaking too stable. Okay? So... That's what we have on colors, guys. Super important, okay? You can Google this anytime, okay? Mine is very entailed because when I started getting into this, I'm talking when I tell you I was studying, I was doing all sorts of stuff. I mean, I, I went from like to Google, to page, to page, to, to opening a new page and writing down every single definition. So you're not going to get all the definitions like I have on one page just by using Google because I probably went to three or four different sites and pulled them all together. So I had the meaning for every color. Okay, like when I tell you I went deep into this and, and I, I studied and I did all this stuff with astrology and stars and, and crystals and numerology, like I went deep. Okay, <laughs> I put myself through school for two years. All right, so colors and energies are very important. It, it helps you vibrate with the universe, guys. Okay, so if you're feeling down or you, you need a little pep in your step or, you know, you want to bring more peace into your life, or you want to create fertility, or, you know, you want abundance, and, you know, you, you need to meditate, and um, what was that other thing I was going to say about meditating, um, or um, manifestations? I'm going to put it in a different video, but just so you guys know, if you got, like, all this past karma, 
when it comes to like certain stuff and childhood issues that stuff that you stuff that you freaking haven't healed from yet you can't meta you can't manifest stuff like that guys it's gonna be a whole nother video i'm actually gonna bring that up in the twin flame video that i'm gonna put out later okay um so please remember when court says colors are important to boost energies and to boost morale and to, to boost prosperity and to, to boost manifestation and, and to boost, you know, whatever it is that you're struggling with, like depression, anything like that. There's certain colors to surround yourself in. There are certain colors to meditate with. Okay. Um, super important. So I'm sorry if I spoke too quick. I'm not going to double read everything because after yesterday and repeating, I, I can't, I can't do it. Okay. So if you have to pause, stop, pause, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, but if colors are important to you and working with energies are important to you, get to know your colors and what they mean. Okay. Um, I love you guys. <laughs>